So in a short video, I, or in a short I posted earlier today, I was talking about a record in my collection. Let me grab it. This one, right here. <clears throat> Story of how I got it was, I was going through a town that I knew had a thrift store. Uh, and I had a gut feeling that I should stop at the thrift store and see if they had anything. And, well, usually when it comes to records, my gut has been right. And so I looked through the records and I saw this. This right here. Stardust. Now, my grandma gave me two 45s that she had which were of a band with the same name, Stardust. And I did not know whether or not this record was by the same band. <clears throat> and I checked on the back. When I looked on the back, I saw same name, same songs that are on the 45s, same town. This is the same band. And so I picked it up. It was a dollar seven with tax. Um, so yeah, this is probably the rare. This is the rarest record in my collection because, like, rare doesn't necessarily mean expensive. Because like, if I try and sell this on eBay, it's not going to sell for much. <clears throat> it's rare because it's just from this like the area I live in. And I am. I wouldn't be posting a video online if I didn't try and do a deep dive on these guys. <clears throat> and I've tried to do deep dives on the band Stardust, but if it if you search up Stardust, it'll probably just come up with Daft Punk. I have tried. But I have searched the names of the band members and I have been able to find their obituaries. So for privacy reasons, I am not um I'm not gonna say who they are, just for privacy reasons of, like, the fact that they're from my area, so, yeah, that's the reason. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to read what it says on the back, but not including the names. This guy and this guy, well, this guy, accordion, and this guy, Rhythm, guitar, and vocalist were the originators of Stardust. Actually, I'm thinking, should I probably read this? Since it's my... Yeah, it just says, like, Northern Minnesota and North Dakota, so, like, that... That is a lot of area. You know, I'm, I'm too lazy to read all of it. But the 245s that I had of the same band... these? I think I did. <clears throat> anyway, this is the right one. 145 and another. I'm gonna Google real quick something. Yeah, this record is a cover of the Hughie Cannon song, Won't You Come Won't You Come Home, Bill Bailey. So, yeah. Like I was just double checking whether or not I could say that. Uh these I need to get my screen on my laptop fixed, because it's like there's a little squiggly line on it and something wrong with the screen, the screen itself um, and I just haven't gotten anything done about it. It would cost me like a hundred bucks to do and that's why I haven't done it. Uh, but anyway, these are the 45s I got from my grandma. They were of the same band and I asked her where she got it and 
um, she was saying how they would perform at like weddings and such, and they sold their records while there, and she bought two forty fives of them. So that's a th those are the ones I have in here. Now, I do not have what they originally came in. They probably just came in some pa paper or something. Uh, this is a plastic hol holder that I actually got at the, the same thrift store I got this, the album from. But this was April of this year when I got it, and this was like three weeks ago. Not even. Yeah, like three weeks ago. <clears throat> Bad boys. And so I want to talk about these guys. Uh, the two main ones. This guy and this guy are the main ones I want to talk about. This guy, what he did was he also, along with being the uh, lead guitarist, he also made like trunks uh, for, uh, he made trunks for like for people to buy. There's a trunk sitting in my living room made by this guy. And I had no clue. Just like how the dresser sitting over there was my uncle's when he was a kid. That dresser is older than me. It's painted differently, but still older than me. But anyway, this guy created a, a trunk that is currently sitting in my living room. This guy. His great nephew married my mom's second cousin. I'm technically related to him. Technically. I say technically because uh, does that even count? <laughs> uh, I don't even know if that would count because, like, I'm pretty sure if you dig deep enough, I could technically be related to Michael Jackson. <laughs> technically. If you dig deep enough, I'd assume you could find it. But, like, yeah. It's like he had the same name as the guy who my mom's second cousin married and uh so my mom asked him i was like yep uh yeah that was my great uncle pretty cool that technically i'm related to that guy technically not really though but anyway um i'm also gonna look at their obituaries i'm not gonna show you them but I'm just going to tell you, like, when they died. All right, let's search up the main guy, the accordion. main guy I could never find, but my mom found his obituary. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. Like, he didn't have an obituary. It was like a, a grave thing. It was a grave. No. No, we did not mean that. It's like... Uh, let me open up my phone. Eh? So my mom found it and sent it to me. Okay, uh... Spelled his middle name wrong. No, I did not mean that. Okay, but there it is. <clears throat> so, um, this guy, the accordion guy, he was born January 1st, 1932, and died in 1981, March 10th, uh, at the age of 49. I, I have tried to find out what he died of, but because the, this is just a grave finding thing, 
I actually can't. There's no obituary. Uh, but yeah, he died when he was 49, and a lot of musicians die from, like, drugs. But because this was a polka band, I doubt, I doubt that's the case. Oh, by the way, I just remembered. Did I ever mention that these guys, the guys performed at my great aunt and uncle's wedding? I, I mentioned that in a short that I posted earlier today, anyways. Um. <clears throat> so, the accordion guy found his find a grave thing. No obituary, though. Alright. This guy, I remember I was able to find his obituary. Uh, the drummer. Yeah, it's the same guy right here. Born October 10th, 1933. Died January 14th, 2016. Oh my god, who would put white text on a white background? I can barely read it. Passed away in St. Paul, but he was from my area. Yeah, it's hard to read. But anyway, uh... Yeah, mentioning the band. So yeah, found a drummer's obituary. Uh, then... <clears throat> that's the guy I'm related to, technically. Uh, Not obituary, but like a family search thing. Uh, so it shows his family. Uh, the guy had six siblings. Five brothers and one sister. Uh, and his older brother by two years is... Uh, who is the grandfather of the person that my mom's second cousin married. But yeah, the guy who was the rhythm guitar and vocalist was born in 1922, died in 2003. It doesn't say what day his birthday was, though. Oh, no, 18th of August. Uh, died on March 24th. Let me look. Got that guy. Okay. Why do I always spell his name wrong? This guy. Uh, the drug. These two. I think this one was the one who. Uh, I think I got it mixed up. The like, the, two of them were cousins, and I thought it was this guy and this guy. But it might have been this guy and this guy. I don't know. Uh, I think I did. <laughs> anyway. Um. This guy is from the, this one guy who's from the town I currently live in, and this guy right here, uh, it, the one who I think is this now, pretty sure, um, he's from the nearby town. 
this guy of this town died at age 75 on Thursday, May 17th, 2007. Uh, when was his birthday? Huh, it's funny. Like, out of all places, I would have expected to hear news about his death. The newspaper from my hometown, which is not the town I currently live in. It's a uh, slightly bigger town, but still pretty small. Um, I did not expect it to see the town's pioneer reporting on it. M March 24th, 1932 was his birthday. <clears throat> and so yeah. And then we just have one left. That being, okay. This last guy is from the town I currently live in. I can't remember, did I ever find this guy's obituary? Not sure if I did. Yeah, it's not the guy. Uh, did I ever find him? name is weird to spell. Ah, there we go. Found his obituary. Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy who made the trunk that is sitting on my living room. Born March 25th, 1933. Died June 4th, 2018. So all of these guys are dead. <clears throat> I think I already mentioned that though. Yeah. It's a shame I never got to meet them, especially because they're like from the town I currently live in. But this one, well, not, they're not all from the town I currently live in, in the area I currently live in. Especially this one, he is the most recent and he died in 2018. He lived in my hometown, he was from my hometown. Or not, not hometown. Ah, that's the town I currently live in. Ah, can't speak. Yeah. It's interesting to research on old records like this. I find it funny. It has the main guy's um, phone number on it. I tried calling it. Nothing happened, of course. Yeah. I know of one other person who has this exact same record. And... I'm definitely going to convert this on to a digital form. I actually, uh, earlier today, just ordered the adapter to do that. And once I get the adapter, I will convert the audio from this record onto my laptop and upload it to YouTube. And until then, I am not going to be playing this because I don't want to risk it being damaged. So for now, this record will be sitting in my collection. And I actually want to like put it on my wall, like on a shelf on my wall. Because this is just something that is like... It is literally one of a kind. And I won't just get the adapter for this record. 
I have a few other records that I need to convert to digital. Um, the main ones being of my grandfather's voice. And I could use that adapter for a lot more than I thought I could. Anyway, why? I'm s I, I don't know what it is up with, with my lights. They just flicker. It's so annoying. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed and have a good day.